you would have a hard time living on that in a home. And then I started thinking, wow, how am I going to live this way as a, at my age? So I would have to start with a part-time job. Say about 75, I need a full-time job. About 80, I need a job, a full-time job and a, and a, and a part-time job. And just to keep a roof over my head isn't worth it. So I wanted to find some way out. Hello everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Rich and look at his really nice older van. And uh, Rich, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. Be glad to be here with you. Nice and, to meet uh, you. And how long have you been on the road? Uh, a little over 700 days in a row. 700 days in a row. Yeah. You got it very precise. Yes. And have they been 700 good days? Nothing but good days. Got nothing to complain about. Everything's been great. Been healthy as anything. Want to continue to about 6,000 days, maybe. That's a good round number, I'd say. And uh, how did you end up on the road? Ended up on the road. Things got expensive. I started watching YouTube. Had a good smart TV. And a uh, friend of mine standing next to me popped up on the screen, told me where I could live for a lot less and how. And I've been learning everything ever since I could. At least three hours a day on YouTube from 2016 till I left. December 28th, 2021. When I came out here, I was pretty well prepared, had a pretty good rig, and it's been great. Can't complain. Everything they say on YouTube is true. How did you come across this rig? Well, 2017, I was watching uh, Brian Adventure Van Man, another good buddy of mine, of course, and he got this rig in San Diego. Somebody gave it to him. Pretty nice. I watched him build it. I wanted one really bad. I looked all over. Every one of them were fifteen dollars to $20,000. Didn't matter if they needed a motor or whatever. Real expensive. So I'm thinking probably thirty grand to get one and fix it up. That was pretty crazy. So um, he came to, uh, Cal to Florida where I was living and he said he wanted to uh, sell it for $5,000 and he just put a new Jasper transmission in it for $5,000. So out of 50 people, don't ask me how, he picked me. And I drove 260 miles up to meet him. When I got there, he said he'd give me the van because somebody gave it to him. Now I feel like I got to give it away someday. <laughs> Keep it going. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I did put an engine in it. I made it uh, all the way to Beaumont, Texas for about $8,000. I put a brand new Napa engine in it. Three years, 100,000 miles. Works perfect. Goes great with the transmission. Before I left, I spent $1,600 and I completely rebuilt the rear end. So it's all brand new. All the fluids are crystal clear through the whole thing. Doesn't drip a drop. And it does 90 miles an hour pretty quick too. But I do pull a trailer, a 2022 brand new cargo trailer I bought. It's uh, six by 12 by seven foot high. Got most of my stuff in it now, but I'm gonna get it insulated and walled and ceiling and all that. And eventually I can live in both if I want. Sounds like you're really set up. Yes, definitely. I've got everything. So you're living, you're living in the travel trailer. No, I'm living in the van. You live in the van? Until I can get the travel trailer set up. Okay, great. Uh, and you have, uh, if people want to get in touch with you, is that is that okay? Oh, definitely. Um, I have an Instagram. Just got to type in R-W-O-O-D-Y-5-3. And you'll see me. And playing drums, too. <laughs> and you play here, and we're in Quartzsite now, and you you play here in Quartzsite. Yeah, I play it at Beer Bellies and uh, with Sunny Days, and I'm mixing it around with all kinds of musicians out in the desert. I've got a nice 2,000-watt, uh, 2,000-watt-hour 2000 watt, 2000 Blue Eddy. It's got six AC plugs. Pull that out, plop it down. Runs everything. All the amps, PA system for three, four hours, and only use maybe 20%. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they're a great system. So we don't need a generator. Well, do you mind if we take a look around? Not at all. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is the van you got from Adventure Van Man, Brian. Yes. And uh, everyone should go check out his channel right away. And basically, this is what he uh, had built? Yes, pretty much perfectly the same. He used to sit here at the, do the endings of his videos with his camera over there. Oh, uh -huh. So when you watch his videos with this van, that's what you'll see. Same desk and everything. So basically, I'll sit right here. Oh, yeah. I got a nice swivel seat from Ikea. I got my ice co refrigerator here. Down below here, this is how I can fill my diesel for my diesel heater. I can do it right through the door for, with a pump if I want. That's a brand new diesel heater down there since August. I have brand new solar, and it's awesome. If you look down there, you'll see my brand new um, charge controller. It's called Lee Time, but it's spelled L-I-T-I-M-E. I learned enough about solar to do this all on my own, thanks to all you people on YouTube. And I purchased this, and I also purchased just one battery. 
down underneath the bed here, there's an area where I used to have four 90 amp hour SLA AGMs. I now have that one battery there that's 230 amp hours. Battery was $750. I got it for $701, shipped for free. Charge controller was $260. I got it for $230, shipped for free. How much solar do you have? I have 230 amp hours. It can store up to 2,944 watt hours. What's happening is I run in my refrigerator, my heater all night, lights, I'm watching Netflix, everything's going. And when I get up in the morning, my 13.3 might be on 13.2. It might say 100%. Well, it almost always says 100% before the sun comes up. Everything cost me like $1,500 to get it installed and everything by solar bills. And they're a great job. Uh, the panels are only 200 watts and they're doing everything. So we got the overhead, I got all that room there. Nice view. A little secret that, that Brian did, which is interesting to see out the side. Got a little peephole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's out there? I remember when he did that. <laughs> I laughed when I saw that. Down here, I have my 2000 watt Blue Eddy that I use. And what that does is run this microwave I have up here. Mm -hmm. And. And how are you charging it? With a generator right now, but I think I can connect it to this new solar system that I have here, and it'll probably charge this too. Brian put this nice couch in here. What we got here is a four-inch IKEA mattress, and all I get is compliments when people come in here and sit down, how comfortable it is and good to sleep on. Uh, this, of course, just like everybody else with the slats, will slide out here and make a full-size mm -hmm. bed. And back here, I got an air conditioner. It runs by my generator. It's uh, a 5,000 um, BTU. Hey, it works pretty good. Keeps it pretty cool in here when I have to do it because I do have a cat, so I have to make sure he's all right. Storage for food and this and that. Um, I got some stuff for the uh, vehicle and the motor. And I got a trailer, so I don't have to keep a whole lot in here. Just what I basically need at night. Right, boy, that, having that trailer really opens it up. Makes it nice and pleasant. It definitely does. And I can leave it in my camping spot and drive this vehicle around to do what I got to do. And you have the freedom to go wherever you want. Think about buying land. Won't you want to go look at it first before you find a burnt down house on it or something like that after you bought it? So what I could do, I could see, oh, I want a piece of land. I'm going to go take a look at it. I don't know what I'm getting. And that's what most people out here are doing. It helps to be mobile. Yeah, a lot of people start and say, I'm going to enjoy this and then find out where I really want to be the rest of my life and settle down. That's a pretty common story. With all of the advantages we have, I have a... Um, an iPad too, with all the advantages we have now with technology. This is easy, easy, squeezy, breezy. I mean, come on. It has made it very simple. Very simple. Bob here started out in a van in Alaska. I don't know how he did it. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think back. I keep on thinking about it. I'm going, man, that's crazy. Because he didn't have all the technology. How many years ago was that, Bob? It was 1995. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even time. know that. Well, they, the um, diesel heaters weren't out, I don't believe, but I used a um, Olympian Wave, and so they work really, really well. Well, that's good. I have the uh, little buddy down there, mm -hmm. and I run the diesel heater all night, but sometimes it'll cool down. You turn it down a little bit when you want to sleep, so if I get up and I want to get a little bit warmer, I just run that for a couple minutes. Boy, he, uh, and this was such a great deal from brian brian's such a good guy brian is my best friend forever don't worry about that brian's on his way down here soon to uh jam with me because i play music uh -huh. so i showed him my my new octopad it's pretty awesome so um i gotta ask everyone wants to know how do you go to the bathroom okay very easy ta-da standard old bucket take a look it's, it's been being used for 700 days and it's crystal clear <laughs> it's never had nothing on it yeah it's it's doesn't smell or nothing no no it's it works perfect and showering showering it could be easy i could i could just open these two side doors and put up any kind of shower curtain and shower right there if i want but i just um have the um planet fitness for 13 dollars a month i can go to any planet fitness and bring a guest uh 365 days 24 hours a day anywhere in the world I get that through my Umana. Wow, that's great. Yeah. You don't even pay for it then. I pay, they take $12.99 out of my checking account once a month. So, oh. but the real price I think is like almost $30. It's yeah. like a black card. I can use everything. Yeah. Yeah. And take a guest. Very, very cool. And then in town here, it's uh, $11. So you can look around and get different prices. Basically, honestly, I probably shower Monday and Friday and that's it. 
<laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, you can I'm just okay. Use wet wipes and yeah, and uh, a washcloth. Same between. Yeah. yeah, super. And do your armpits. And so you're uh, you're a young guy. How are you uh, supporting yourself? I'm uh, 66, retired, worked 52 years, and I get about 1,500 a month Social Security, and I have no bills, so might as well just enjoy myself. Yeah, and uh, you you would have a hard time living on that in a home, a regular apartment. Well, what happened is I got my condo in '96. The maintenance was ninety dollars, usually about 130, 140 back then. 20 years later, it's $188. 2016, it's decided it's going to go up $30 a year. I turned on YouTube and I saw Bob. <laughs> and then I started thinking, wow, in just five years, it's going to go up $150. How am I going to live this way as a, at my age? So I would have to start with a part-time job. Say about 75, I need a full-time job. About 80, I need a job, a full-time job and a, and a, and a part-time job. And just to keep a roof over my head isn't worth it. So I wanted to find some way out. And here it came, right there on my TV. And I started watching Audra and Pandemonium. I know Eric, I know all these people too. I got a lot of stickers. Eric Nomadic Fanatic, Mike Living Free, uh, the two Carolins, and Bob, of course. And it just spread out after that. I started watching more and more people, Destination Open Road. I've met all these people, they're my friends now. I have at least 50 best friends from my first winter here. At least another 50 best friends from my second winter here. This is my third winter. I got probably 20 new best friends already. I'm thinking in two or three years in this video, I might know like 500 people here. Everywhere I go, people are going to know me. Like Bob. I mean, everywhere he goes, people stop and say hello, I'm sure. Someone told me you were at the dollar store or something last week. But you look busy, so they didn't want to say hello. But you can always say hello to me. It's cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You'll, now you'll be uh, talking to Rich. Yep. Yep. It's cool. Totally cool. And I plan probably to go to Utah and Colorado. Yeah. This spring. Yeah, that's uh, I, those are my two of my favorite places. I may not fall. come back. That's just why I'm afraid to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It gets pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, it does. But what beauty. Wow. Yes, yeah, nothing like it. Colorado, some. You said you could only be in two places the rest of your life. For me, it would be Utah and Colorado. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, probably only thing better than that's Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's saying a there. lot. That's saying a lot, though. Yeah. There's no dents. There's no rust. Everything works. Solid. I'm going to get a new spare tire cover, something woodsy and colorful. I'm going to paint it. It's about all it needs. Yeah, that's a, a beautiful old van. 32 years old. It's got a brand new motor, only 16,000 miles on it, so... I got a lot of exploring to do. You bet. I'm you just bet. getting started. I love it. That's all I can say. No complaints. <laughs> well, Rich, thank you so much for sharing your uh, your home with us and your your experience on the road. I really appreciate it. Uh, folks, make sure to go to his Instagram channel. Tell us that again. R-W-O-O-D-Y-5-3. And go there and check it out and, and subscribe. Join him up with him and yes. follow his travels. Yes. Talk to me. So folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.